Yo, we're here. Drake's long history of being <laughs> into underage girls. I've been preach. Go like they video. Bro, like this video too. Today's I don't know how you on Drake's side. I don't. Topic. Hopefully, this could change. It's Drake a predator. Uh, obviously, we'll talk about the beef in general at some point. But we'll I want to talk about this specifically. Beef. First of all, Drake's getting his ass beat in this battle. You can't lie. Because initially, lie. Kendra called him a, a certified, what was it? Certified lover boy. Certified people. Certified lover boy. More like certified. <laughs> and he was talking can't about his word. crew, how there's a lot of them who are doing this. And now, Drake took three days. Right at first, all he did was respond to the fake allegation of the child, and he went, "Oh, I don't have no kid. If somebody could right, find him." Even... And then it was like, "So that's what you respond to, but you don't right. respond to the kiddo stuff." Uh -huh. And then on his latest track, he talked about it. It's so funny. What did he say? I think he, he said, "I'm too rich. I would get caught doing that." Do you know who Epstein is? It's only a matter of time, brother. I thought this reply track was going to be good, but all it did was dig his hole. He said, speaking of anything with a child, let's get to that now. The Epstein angle was the shit that I expected. Like, Kendrick ain't even got to respond. Drake just dug himself his own hole. Why would you expect that? Oh, yeah, the internet don't play. So how about we start the one that he brought up out of nowhere for no reason? Why would you Bobby expect Brown? that? Let's say y'all got a 14-year-old daughter. Uh, she 14? talking about a man in his late 20s this way. What y'all think? What about your relationship with Drake? Tell me about your friendship. How did this all come about? I love him. I met him in Australia, and um, he's honestly so fantastic and a great friend and a great, uh, great role model. You know, we text, we just texted each other the other day, and he was like, "I miss you so much." I was like, "I miss you more." He's coming to Atlanta, so I'm definitely gonna go and see him. I'm so excited. Yeah. What advice does he give you? Like, what does he say? Uh, about boys. He helps me. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's great. He's wonderful. I love What's him. His advice? You know, that stays in the text messages. <laughs> so yeah, her text. Ah, first of all, texting a fourteen-year-old girl is crazy in and of itself. Don't matter what the fuck you're talking about. Why are you texting her like that? What the fuck? The fourteen-year-old saying I miss you so much, and texting them about dating and boys. Does that sound like professional development? <laughs> what are you professionally developing her in? Certified lover boy. <laughs> certified people. Certified. Uh, she's a producer. Little C, uh, she produced for Drake. Okay, so the Drake thing. Mm -hmm. You met him, well, when did you first meet him? So, so, I played basketball, right? So he right. really was a fan of one of, or not a fan, supported one of my teammates um, at the time. And, because and this is when you're her, in high school? Yeah, in okay. high school. So he was a fan of women's basketball, high school basketball. At the time, Drake would have been 29. He's a big fan of high school women's basketball. Why high school? Why not college? Why not WM High school. Basketball? If you say it like that, yeah, it doesn't sound wrong. What Abba is saying is if, if you're a man <clears throat> in your late whatevers, you right. Imagine if Drake wasn't, you know, a famous uh, rapper. Imagine he's just his late thirties, almost forty year old man, just in a basket high school basketball girls game. No relation to anyone there. Just watching. Just watching him. Be like, hey, why are you here? You know, I like basketball. That's your response. That's your response. Okay. You can't be fans of no young woman things. <laughs> you can't. It don't. It don't. It don't look good. <laughs> I, no mat. No. No matter how. Hold on. No matter how. If something happened or since something didn't happen, if someone has something to say, it's just not gonna look good. And that's a fact. It's, not, it's just not gonna look good. I'm not saying it don't look good. I'm just saying. He likes hanging around teenage girls. I'm just saying. The evidence is mounting. The case is being built. How many times before you Drake dick riders realize like it's not one allegation. It's not two. It's not even. It's not even. It's not even ten. That's it. That's, <laughs> That's it. a constant thread. Now, I remember a time where Michael Jackson couldn't breathe, 
without people calling him Peter. It's not the same thing. It was not just. It was not just the Neverland. Never. It was all the allegations. It was not just the Neverland. It was the allegation of smoking Jesus juice, of, of drinking Jesus juice, and sleeping in the same bed. Were I believe a bit miles apart. No, it's just support. There yeah. was nothing sexual that was Michael said Jackson and everything and stuff. I don't want to be someone that defends, but let's stick to the facts here. Okay, so let me ask you. Let's point. stick to the facts, right? Go ahead. Your daughter's texting, 14-year-old daughter's texting a 29-year-old in my dating advice. Yep. They talk about each, they miss each other. The fact is he didn't do nothing mm -hmm. that we can prove. That's, that's great. What you doing? What do you mean, what you doing? What you doing about your 14-year-old? Oh, uh -huh. that's my daughter. Who are you texting? Who the fuck is Police. I think we have a groomer on my hands. You're 100 percent right. Okay. Yeah. Investigate. No it, it, it's not like I, I, I'm doing conjecture right, about something. Would... There, there's no world I know of where a 14 year old yeah. is texting a 29 year old saying I miss you so much and texting them about dating advice with boys. I can understand that, but the same way if it again if it was a boy it wouldn't be the same thing. Cause I, in in the in the in the eyes of the world, it's not really the same thing. I uh, listen. Sorry, no, no. If my fourteen year old son is texting a twenty nine year old, they talk about each other. I'm thinking something sexual is going on. Absolutely. I'm mad at you. Yeah, yeah. And I think most parents would at home too. Hmm. There is no concert time or place a fourteen year old is texting a twenty nine year old crazy. woman. I miss you, and someone not thinking it's sexual, and they talk about dating all the time. I'm mad at that. There's not. It doesn't matter. That's not a gender. Thing. I'm mad at that. Now yeah, you might just trying to play those. We might take one more seriously, <laughs> sure. Yeah. But okay. there's no doubt that we would. Yeah, there's, there's no, no doubt that nobody would cool. see that age difference and think cool. that's weird. Cool. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. Okay. So now we, we got there. We got him taking a lot of interest. And well, here's the thing. Unless no, 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 no. I'm going to say, say something. It's not just Unless that this dude about. really follows or he's supportive of high school basketball teams. He starts following these girls. He starts contacting them. What business do you have contacting these young women outside of just being supported at the game? It's not like oh. he was just in the stands. No, he can't do that. But let's keep watching. Unless, yeah, right. unless. Why are you relatives. even there to begin with? But even then, that could be like uh, mm -hmm. fishy, fishy, fishy. Well, like bro, that's your, Drake would get the. That's your niece, and she's like, hey, come watch me play. My friends love your music. All right, I'll, I'll show up. The WNBA out of debt if like, it was full of teenagers. That's foul. Drake would get the WNBA out of debt if it was full of teenagers. But that's a fact. Good time. <laughs> yeah, you want to solve it? Put the young girls in, get Drake to be the face of the franchise. And it won't be Drake just <laughs> like MJ just dunking. It won't be that. It'll just be Drake hiding in the, behind the sheets. It's not It's not dunking like that. It's dunking like that. Whoa. <laughs> and it's just some 14-year-old pigtails or some shit. Whoa. And a high school Whoa. uniform. Why? Anyway, that's imagine crazy. that on shoes. <laughs> Nah, 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 oh shit, is that the new Air Gok Gok? <laughs> <laughs> the Air Pedos? <laughs> Air Gok Gok, Air Pedos. <laughs> yeah, the Air Pedos. Brain Game 09. So he followed me because of her. And I was like, oh shit, bitch, you got Drake to follow me? Like, what the hell? Like, that's so crazy. <laughs> oh so my God. he followed me, and I just went, I lost it. I'm like, I have to meet Drake. Like, I love Drake. I've always loved Drake, still love Drake. So basically um yeah he followed me maybe a year later is when i built up the confidence to like message him on like some working stuff because i was 18 when i messaged him um and i dm'd him like hey I'm he knows what the fuck he's doing why is he following her on instagram for what reason just to be clear i'm Except saying this connection. because this is not just conjecture i don't care who this is from irrespective of the beef this dude is a straight up weirdo certified <laughs> Right, let's think about it. Why do you follow somebody to see the content, right? Why are you following a 16, 17 year old? Look Call it that. like it is. Call I like, like the it. fact that certified has become the man version of period. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I never look twice at no teenager. Only fucking with Whitney's, not Millie Bobby Brown's. I never looked twice at no teenager. Started when footage from a 2010 Drake concert began circulating the internet. Footage where a 23 year old Drake invites a girl from the crowd on stage, dances with her, smells her hair, massages her shoulders, puts his arms around her, and then starts to kiss her neck. How old is she?
I get in trouble for shit like this. It's not the first time. This happens a lot. Drake walks away. Maybe ask beforehand. <laughs> Looking good, bro. <laughs> Whoa! Why is he still going? You think? Like if he would have stopped there and been like, "Ah, oh, damn, I messed up. Go away." But he said, "You, th why you look like that? You think?" First of all, I already know a lot of you out here saying, 17, that's legal in some states. Bro, if you have to look up the age of consent of what state you're in to make sure if it's legal or not, you're weird. <laughs> Guess the, what is he doing? It is a sickness what is he doing? of the highest order. Huh? It is deviant, therefore we don't want it. Huh? Why are you kissing like six times? Six guy, he likes his bitches in sixes. You know what There's I think is a papaya. This one is lost, my friend. He has done it on camera. You know what I like about this shit is that you're the Ugandan Shazam. The minute I say, stand up for life, and then boom, you turn into this. Ugh. And you guys remember one of his associates, Little Baka, was referenced a few times in Kendrick's song saying he's a, you know, a predator or whatever. The Let's same year, Drake would, would post on Instagram, celebrating the release of Baka Not Nice, a rapper, friend, and member of Drake's record label, OVO, following a stint in jail for allegedly forcing a 22-year-old woman into prostitution, a weapons charge, and human trafficking. What can you the say? You can still be a bitch if you get bitches. <laughs> now deleted post read, something in the air today. A lot of good things happening at once, but this one means the most. Been waiting 11 months, Baka finally home. I just wonder if he was also banging his girl while he was in jail. <sighs> wow. Remember when he said Red that friend, shit about Wayne? Remember the Wayne, yeah. You know that happened, and, right? And Wayne, yeah, Wayne confirmed yeah, Wayne it. Confirmed it. Yeah, 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 so just to be clear, people saying, oh, Kendrick just spread rumors. No, a lot of what Kendrick said is actually verifiable and provable. He did smash Wayne's girl while he was in jail. That's insane. Well, he was in jail. Year later, Jesus. in yeah, May of 2016, 29-year-old Drake was spotted eating dinner with 18-year-old Haley Bieber in West Hollywood. Due to their allegedly wait, wait, flirting wait. dinner later, in uh -oh. May of 2016, 29-year-old Year old Drake was spotted eating dinner with 18 year old Haley Bieber in West Hollywood due 18. to their allegedly flirty interaction and Drake wearing a matching H necklace rumors of them dating began circulating with entertainment tonight even alleging that the two hooked up at Drake's Memorial Day party however during this time Haley did an interview with E News revealing that she'd known Drake for around four years at this point meaning that a 25 year old Drake first met Haley when she was just 14 Another 14 year old. Another one. Another 14 year old. Are you going on dinner dates with her when she hit 18 in public? Bro, what is it with these fucking like super mega rich people that have a lot of power and these young girl? Young, they only had to be girls. But these young kids. Is it like some type of power control fantasy? Some type of innocence they want to stain? Like what? What is it, bro? I Another 14 year old? How many more y'all need? Let's keep watching. There's, there's <laughs> billions of, billions a now 32 year old Drake oh. released a song titled Nice for What? Why? Featuring the line, high school picks, you was, was even, even bad, bad then. then. Three months later. I remember hearing this song when it came out. He said that. I was like, what the fuck? Top out.
Do was like shut up. It's the fire. Oh, like, okay. On July twenty second. I score pitch easy to bad. That's crazy. It's a, he's like it's a banger. It's like, it's no, a banger. that dude is a little twisted monster. An article titled "What Would You Do If Your Teenager Became an Overnight radio, Instagram oh, Sensation" was released by the Guardian, detailing a story about 16-year-old Charlie D'Alessio going viral on Instagram after being another one. Oh <laughs> my God! Just See, that was the thing. With, that was the thing with Drake. It's like. His music was good and on the radio all the time. No one cared about any of this. Drake's involved But, yeah. nah, but him up. just mentioning a young girl, I just, I feel like Drake just, hold down, we're going home. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just feel it. I just feel it. Oh my God. Yeah, shit. Don't you feel that creepy yeah. Drake energy? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I think that we, I think that we need, huh? give an apology to J. Cole. Cause everybody was like, "Oh man, you're backing out." I think he did good backing out. Yeah, I think he did good. He was not one of the. I get feel like Kendrick and Jayco had a conversation. He was like, "Yo, Cole, this is about to get really nasty." I'm talking pedo allegations. I don't want you to be caught in the crosshairs on Drake's side. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like Kendrick respects Cole enough to be like. You don't want to be on his team, I promise you. <laughs> and J. Cole probably heard that was like, yeah, you're right. Get involved in none of this shit. Certified head of being tagged in pictures at Coachella, the article describes the photos as Charlotte wearing bodysuits, bikini tops, and jean shorts. Her mother, Christina Ford, recounts the moment she realized how popular the photos were making her daughter, saying they were in the back of the car chatting away and checking in on social to say they were in Toronto, just like normal teenagers. And then suddenly Madison was like, oh god. It's Drake FaceTiming us. Should I answer? As Ford drove on, listening to her daughter and her friend chatting away in the back seat with one of the biggest hip hop stars on the planet, she felt the world as she knew it shifting under the wheels of her car. I thought, okay, she's hanging out with Drake. I guess this is for real. What was you saying at the beginning? Nothing. Yeah, 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 that's what I thought. And Drake probably thought she was a thought too. The way he was trying to jump up in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Drake claiming, oh, guys, go find my eight, 11 year old daughter. Uh, He don't have one. He got an 11 year old girlfriend. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's why you can't find her. <laughs> Y'all looking for a daughter. He probably dating that 11 year old. Yeah, 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 yeah. Drake a weirdo. He, he's like, it's not my daughter. This is my future wife. That's official. Certified. God damn. Yeah. That's super weird behavior. Oh Once is uh, okay, coinky dink. Three, four times you stick it's in your a, dinky dink it, in her. It's a yeah, 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 yeah. Predator. Planet. She felt the world as she knew. I think that's Drake calling me. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh shit! Yo, you saw that? No, no, nah, he wouldn't call you, bro. You're not, you're not young enough, or yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, it's Drake. He's like, what'd you say about me? Later that month, Drake would release a song titled Jaded, featuring the line, we could have waited, I wasn't Russian, differences in ages, you're old enough, but you're still a baby. Self snitching. Uh, just to reference, you're saying that no parents would let their daughter, they would think it's weird. She said, like, oh, okay, I guess it's real, and kept on driving. So, just to go back on what you were saying, you were saying that no parents would have let that shit happen. She did. She was driving and they were chatting in the back, and True. she said, like, oh, I guess this is weird. What I said was very different. I said, no parent par would let their daughter talk to a 20, 29 year old man. What I didn't add to that caveat is if they're famous, because famous people let their kids do weird shit. Exactly. Okay. True. Cool. That's a whole different cool. thing. Cool, 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 but to be clear, this, is, it, this is weird behavior, irrespective of anyone. But I'm saying the kinds of people who put their kids in famous situations that's, let their kids do a lot of weird, freaky right. shit. That's why when you said that, I believe my face was kind of weird. Because the I mom, went, but the mom put the money signs above what is right for the kid at that mm, point. Yeah. Because yeah. of that, the yeah. famous people. Over the years, there's a lot of pictures of Drake wrapped around girls who are 18, 17. Do Maybe I think he's like, yes, not doing that? Hey, listen, you got no business talking to no goddamn teenager. Even if you did, you, you know better. You should know your managers and everybody around tell you, but they probably not because you just into it that much. So all the stuff Kendrick was saying, it ain't lies. It ain't lies. No, it's, and there's it's too, too many of these instances of this guy go. talking to, 
It's too much evidence. You know what I've never thought in all my years as a 30-year-old? Can I please talk to a teenager for extended periods of time? Hell Can no. I please talk? Hell no. Bro, people younger than 22, even if they're 22, they be tardy, bro. Literal, like, one of my life goals is finding ways to talk to them as little as possible. They're so okay? annoying. There is no time in my day that I'm like, man, I need Bro, a teenager. My nephew is, uh, I would, my nephew's a teenager. They say the dumbest shit all the fucking time. I can't stand them. I can't, st I can't I'm stand them. <laughs> you texting a teenager, I miss you so much? Yeah. Drake! I'm gonna decide it. Let, let me, I got Drake, a get up. bit of tism in me, so I don't miss nobody. You know what I mean? That cannot be me. There's, it's not like he's a teacher. It's not like he's out, you risk youth outreach or whatever. There's like no reason to be talking to these people. No, it's not. And, and listen, a lot of owners should be on the parents who allow for these kinds of listen. But like I said, people in rich or famous areas, they, they operate in weird ways. Do you know the, what I mean? The, the, Some of them the, stop parenting and leave the managers in charge of everything. The weird thing they would do for the advancement of their kids, the weird shit that they would do. Yep. Some of these parents, <clears throat> whether it's in dance or acting, oh, whatever. Yes. Some of y'all parents are pimps. Yes. They and see, you're pimping the, kid the dreams that you had. Money signs. Through your 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 kids. Yep. Some of y'all are pimps. Let's be honest with with each other. He's, he's the way you true. guys are operating but it's good for you it's good you're just thinking about the career yeah and people say oh Kendrick just make it listen some of the people that are in OVO are criminals what did you that's say? a fact what did you say OVO -ho. you said it like that now step this way step this way step so I'll talk about the rap beef at a different date but I just want to talk about this portion specifically because I think it's telling that people think this is just rap no Okay. I think there's, where there's smoke, there's absolutely fire with this one, and this one's a whole bonfire. I think it's a rap. in the middle of the woods. I think it's a rap battle. It's not a beef, but whatever. That's a beef. When you're bringing up allegations, bringing... I can understand that, but I think it's a, still a rap battle. Rap battles been vicious, been known to be vicious, exposing motherfuckers. If you go to rap battles, they go through lengths to expose beef, them like they pull up The beef thing, what I know from a beef is people dying, people shooting up, and I don't think they're gonna come to that way. What about nah. if they go to jail? What happened to Diddy? It took one court case from Cassie, and now his ass is looking at jail time. That was time. not a beef. That was not a that was not no, a but my, that, but my whole point is, the difference between rap battles and this shit is because of how mainstream this is, and Kendrick know what he's doing when he's bringing this shit up. You don't think law enforcement might start looking at this shit? Sure. Okay, I'm just saying. Does that not go to a, a beef status if he go into jail, potentially? I'm, I'm just asking the question. Okay? No. No? No. So jail is not beef for you? No. Just murder? Yeah. Or, uh, or attacking someone physically? Yeah, that's then that's beef. I'm gonna be honest with you. If that's beef, then I'd rather have beef than whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> yeah, boy, come find me, catch a fade one. Yeah, catch a fair one. I would much rather that <laughs> than be facing 20 years because you exposed to my secrets. Hey, don't don't do something. I'm just saying, but hey, maybe y'all feel do, different. Don't do I get what preachers say. Don't throw rocks don't do and hide your hands. This. If, you, if you're supposed to go to jail, you're supposed to go to jail. This? If it was over a beef, too bad. You any, on top of that, you self snitch in song. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm not saying I'm not. It's not something that, that I went. Uh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Persecutor. This is what I no. It's like go look at that song and that song and look into it. Bro, That's what he did. Bro, bro, bro. That's what bro, he did. Bro. It's my fault that you got pictures of holding on to ladies like. Yeah, they use wine. And they said his lyrics against them. That, no, no, nobody, nobody, nobody snitched on. So it's a rap battle. That's you. I mean, you should never be holding a fourteen year old like this. I've heard more vicious shit in rap battles than this. Yeah. Vicious stuff. Yo, <clears throat> Drake is definitely into young ones. You, and anyone who's telling themselves otherwise, mm -hmm. I want y'all to explain all of them hand conversations you be having with fourteen year olds. Go ahead, oh, and I'll wait. Try. Oh, I'll wait. I want you guys to give me the reasons <clears throat> why a thirty year old is out here going on dates. They really think Drake beta Kendrick. They really think that. And hanging so out stupid. and texting about so dating and ba boys that. with 14 year olds. And I'll tell you what it is. You ready for the word? This is actually one of the few times you can use it. Preach, drum roll. Grooming. grooming. Mm. The word is grooming? This is actually grooming. You, you think this is actually grooming. Think about what's happening. He meets them when they're 14, talks yeah. to them, talks to them about dating. So he's inserting himself, okay? 
Oh. And then once they hit 18, they're going on dates and they hugging up and shit. I've never been with no one underage, but True. now I understand why this is the angle that you really mess with. Just for clarity, I feel disgusted. I'm too respected. If I was fucking young girls, I promise I'd have been arrested. I'm too famous for the shit you just suggested. How many super famous guys have been caught with underage people and been doing it for a long time? Nobody. How long did R. Kelly operate even though this man was hanging outside high schools waiting to pick up high schoolers? A couple of months, stops. What a dumbass saying, I'm too famous. Uh, you know how many famous dudes get away with diddling young kids all the time? Is Drake a predator? I don't know, man. I feel like that's what everyone's talking about. Is Kendrick beating his wife? I don't think people are talking about that. Are they? No. I think that was briefly mentioned, and everyone's back to Drake like, does he have an 11-year-old? Some big questions being raised. Wow. And it's interesting to me because it feels like rap beats today are so different in that regards. It ain't even about the bars half the time now. It feels right. like who's got the dirt, who got the tea. Yeah. Yeah, and what yeah. can be proven. And you know what? Think of like his previous beef. Think about Drake versus uh, Pusha T. Yeah. Huh. Does anybody remember half the bars? I don't remember. I, I, I don't think a person can name a single bar on the top of their head for most people at home. I remember one thing. Drake! The one that tried to hide the kids from the world, but the world would have had it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Every, that's where the kid came from. Him hiding the kid? <laughs> also the blackface. Because the cover. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cover art of these rap beats is. It's funny how Drake has just as much right to say the N word as I do nowadays. Really important, apparently. <laughs> yes, because that's what you. Think about this. Think about this. Think about this. Coconut and Barbados. Coconuts and Barbados. But think, th think about this. The way that you consume music now is by streaming. So if you're in your car, or even if you, you watch, you listen to the satellite radio, uh -huh. what's going to come up is the cover art. True. And I listen to satellite radio, and they've been playing all the tracks of the beast. Yeah. And what comes up? The cover art. <laughs> the cover art. Yeah. So what you see, the cover art is actually more important than a video clip because even when you stream from your, your you don't, phone, you, don't you don't see the video clip. You don't see the video clip, but boom, what's gonna pop up? True. The cover art. True. So I understand. I'm, I'm a bit behind the times. I still go on YouTube and click the thing where I download the MP3. So I'm like, I'm stupid. Uh, so I, I don't know nothing about streaming. You, I don't have Spotify. You, I don't have iTunes. You what? download the MP3? I what? have a folder what with every you? MP3 I've collected for the last 16 years. I have files as old as 2017. You understand? What the fuck? And it's kind of cool to be honest with you. What are I you? Napster? I, 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 I'm a dinosaur, bro. <laughs> so it's kind of cool because I go by date modified and I can literally see how yeah. my playlist evolved. Yeah, you... When house was introduced, when salsa was introduced, true, 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 true. when I went back to some of my old R&B albums. You could put them by dates and then you yeah, see that. It yeah, it feels yeah, cool. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. it's a history. Yeah, I ain't mad at that. I'm not going to lie. 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 I'm not be able to understand what it's like to like browse a SoundCloud DJ and then have to go through his whole <clears> discography <throat> to find a single track. Like they, so it's just yeah, a different yeah, experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it doesn't matter. But it's you just... can no longer call me a dinosaur, though. You surpassed me in that in that sense. I, hey, listen, <laughs> my guy, I got prehistoric habits. Yes, you were right. Y'all need to like this video. Fair. <laughs> it's so funny, bro. I see y'all.